Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Mailgun to WordPress in 2024. So today we're exploring how to seamlessly integrate Mailgun with your WordPress website by connecting Mailgun, which is a powerful email service provider to your WordPress site. You can enhance the email delivery or deliverability and track email performance and improve communication with your audience. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process or steps of connecting Mailgun to WordPress. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser that you'll use. Here you are using Brave Browser and of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you'd like to do. Once you do so, all the things that you need to do, go to this URL section, make sure to go to mail, first of all, mailgun.com, open a new tab and go to WordPress dot com and make sure to go in both accounts and log in into your both accounts so if it's your first time as example on a wordpress you should uh, because here i will be already 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 logged in and here as you can see it's your first time you'll find yourself here so click on login at the top right corner if you don't have an account make sure to log in into your account if you don't have an account of course make sure to click on create an account and you'll be able to create your account using one of these options so you don't have to go through all the boring steps of filling up your information manually once you do so you'll find yourself here for mailgun as you can see you'll find yourself here so if you have an account by any chance go to this top right corner login option if you click on it you'll be able to log in into your account without any problems and if you don't have an account click on get started for free and of course, start filling up your information. But as you can see, they're telling you to enter your card's information. Of course, you don't have to. If you select another plan, as example, if we go here, uh, okay, we cannot select this from here. So all you need to do, just go back as an example or close this and go to pricing here. Once you go to pricing, basically go to this free and click on try it for free. Once you click on try it for free, as you can see, you'll have to fill up your information without even your debit or credit card. So after that, as an example, I'll have just go here, first of all, login into my account, and I'll have to enter my password, click on login, and I should be logged in without any problems. So as you can see, I'm logged in into my WordPress website and my Mailgun. Of course, make sure to verify your email address on Mailgun. You will have to verify it with a phone number. Yep, email with a phone number. So you will have to click on the link that they send you on your email. And once you click on it, you'll have to add and phone number and then you'll send your code and you'll have to verify that of course once you verify it make sure to add your verify domain and in your wordpress dashboard you could have to go on the plugins example so for me i'll just open a local host for me so i'll show you how to install plugins i'll not be able to do it here of course it's wordpress so i'll have to wait for it until it's opened of course you'll, where you'll find plugins as, as an example on this left panel if we click on plugins in here we'll be able to start looking for the plugins that we want because here, as an example, on uh, like Mailgun, we will need, as we said, to verify our email. Then here, uh, add and verify like your domain. How you can do that, I've already made a video about this if you want to check it out. Or basically, you will be able just to follow the steps that is uh, provided here, as an example, of getting started. So an example, you'll have to uh, verify your email, then create your API key. If you click on more info, as an example, they'll show you exactly what you should do. As an example so just follow the steps from here and they'll show you how to do everything as an example how to go to your domains example if you go here to send in you'll find your domains here as an example and you'll be able to add your new domain and verify it as an example so you'll be able to do a lot of stuff so just follow the steps that they're telling you here and you don't want to watch the video as an example and it will be very very easy to do by your own so for me here on my local host as an example okay four plus six is ten remember me and click on login so, of course, it's going to be the same. And uh, no, remind me later. And of course, I'll just go to plugin. It's going to be the same as WordPress. And as I said, in their plugins or in the plugins on WordPress, I'll have to search for WP Mail SMTP plugin and install and activate the plugin. Then I'll have to go and navigate to the settings of the plugin page. So, for example, here. Wait, so let me just go and close those or no need. So I'll just go to the left panel and click here on plugins. Then I'll click on add a new plugin because we wouldn't like a new plugin, of course. Once I do so, I'll find myself here on the plugins. So I'll just go to the search plugin options. All I need to type is simply WP mail SMTP. Once I do so, let me just wait for the plugins until it loads in here. So as you can see here, that's the plugin that we are looking for. So as you can see by W Forms, the most popular is CP emails. And as you can see, if you go and click on that, 
So here, as you can see, you'll be able to see the description of that, all of it, if you want to read this out. You'll be able also to see the installation, how do you install it, frequently asked questions if you care, change log, what they change recently, and when exactly, screenshots about the settings of it, how it's going to uh, look like, as an example, and even the reviews of other people, so you'll be able to read it. If you want it, all you need to do, just go and click on install. Now, once it's installed, you will have to go and activate it. So uh, just wait until it's installed. It should not take a lot of time. Normally, plugins should not take, don't, talk, don't take a lot of time. As you can see, I find activate here. I'll just go and click on that activate. Once I do so, they will take me to the settings of that right away. As you can see, welcome to WP Mail SMTP Setup Wizard. So I'll just go and click on let's get started. So you'll have to choose your SMTP mailer as an example. So you'll find here recommended mailers. And but if we didn't find this here, as you can see, if you scroll down here, or you will find mail gap. So I'll just go and click on that, click on save and continue. Once I do so, all I need to do is simply enter the Mailgun API key, the domain name that I have verified and add on my Mailgun. And simply I'll choose the region, the United States or Europe, then the from name then the from email then click on save and continue and follow up the steps of course if we go here to uh like mail gun as i said so if we go here to dashboard on getting started if you click on more info we'll open this up so i'll just go close this so as an example api keys they'll show you how to get your api key so as an example important note your api key must not be shown to anyone so i'll not show you my api key but how you can get it basically you can click on your account as an example at the top right corner click of the mail gun control panel click on your profile menu expand this then click on api key or api security as you can see you'll find this here or you can click on this to take you right away into wherever you want so as you can see there's the api key right there if you don't want to like keep going here click in here and click on api security they'll take you right away if you click on the links that is provided here so as you can see the resulting page you'll find here so all you need to do is simply go and finally type a description and click as an example on create a new key as an example on this description once you do so you will find your key ready to use example here I have no API key, so I'll click on create API key. I'll fill up a description. I'll just type test as an example and click on create a key. I'll delete that key so don't I don't mind if it shows. So an example, I'll just copy that, go here and enter the API key right here. Then I'll have to do the same for my domain. So I'll just go here as an example. So I'll just delete that as I said. Go to the sending, go to domains right here. I'll go to the domain that I have for me. I still don't have a domain, I only have this domain. So as an example, I'll just copy that and enter it right here. The region, as an example here, we can simply just go and click on settings and we can go and settings and check what region is that. But normally, as you can see, it's United States normally. So I'll just go back here and choose United States. Uh, from name, of course, you can, I'll just type test as an example. You can force the from name if enabled. The uh, from name settings above will be used for all emails, including ignoring values set up by other plugins. So, as example, if you want to force it, force it. And here, the from email. So, example, type your email. I'll just type at test gmail.com as an example here. And then I'll click on save and continue. Of course, you can enforce this also. And basically, choose the settings that you want. Keep clicking on save and continue. Finish those steps right here. So, for example, you'll have to enter your email address right here. So, let's just enter that out. So, for example, click on save and continue. Then, uh, if you want this, of course, you can simply enter your license key. But for me, I'll just skip this step. I'll just complete on the free. And as you can see, they are checking everything if it's working. If something is wrong, you can start troubleshooting. If you don't, click on finish setup. And yeah. You're done. You connected your mail gun to WordPress in 2024. So thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.